Hello, what's up and what's happening? This is another Miles Darker 24-7 production. And today, we got some throwback Thursday. And more importantly, we're going to be playing Madden 04 on the PlayStation 2. My man John Lynch, he warming up in his ex-teammate Warwick Dunn is also warming up. And this is going to be the topic of discussion today. But first things first, again, I'm representing those Atlanta Falcons. And we're taking on the Buccaneers EA Sports. Y'all need to get back to this, these presentation aspects before the game because that will be dope. Anyways, though, got a couple announcements. I'm with a couple of networks here on YouTube, just trying to get the sports community out there even more, and I am not going to be the biggest name in the sports community because I'm still very, 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 very small, but hey, man, I got potential. I got, I got a lot of potential. So anyways, first, I'm with the Franchise Players Network, man, that's with myself. Franchise Play Sports, my man Franchise Play, what up homie, and my man I'm Blessed, what it do, I'm Blessed, my dude, I'm Blessed, he's a cool dude, if you don't know who he is, he is a solid dude, the link to that channel is going to be in the description, there we talk about sports, video games, we talk a little bit about real life sports, and it was just a cool hangout, really chilled, really laid back, with some great conversations, so if you're into that type of stuff, definitely go check out that channel, we definitely have some gameplay for y'all coming soon over there now today thursday i have a show every single thursday with my man living from 510 it's on his channel living from 510 that link is in the description as well he's a cool dude he does sports commentaries he's he focuses mostly on uh baseball but he does play fifa he has some call of duty up there and stuff like that so definitely check him out and today we're doing a google plus hangout and we'll be talking about sports and talk about some random stuff and just talk about some stuff that's going on in the world so if you want to see my face <laughs> then go <laughs> then go there today and we're going to be talking sports you know and other stuff so check it out it's gonna be a blast i'm gonna have fun we always bring the passion we love sports we love debating we love arguing with one another you know it's just funny you know nothing too serious but again check that out one more channel rising stars rss the official rising star studios now I post over there, got Road to Glory up over there. There's some people on that channel that post some other things. So you got uh, Owner Mode, you got Mutt on there as well. So check it out. It's cool. I'm on there, so you're going to love it. Anyways, man, for today, we are going to talk about my expectations for EA Sports moving forward with Madden. Now, we was talking about this on the Franchise Players Network. So go check it out because we were talking about it. And... Basically, we just discussed our expectations for the next match because me and I'm blessed with some football heads, franchise play. He's that all around sports dude. So he just want to get our opinions on Matt. And I gave mine first, but I'm going to give you theirs first. He, you know, they were talking about yes presentation. They were talking about like, like really getting in depth, like why somebody bobbled the ball and stuff like this. Like, like, like really getting in there and like explaining the game of football and stuff like that. And their ideas were great i was like yeah i'm thinking about that too like, like i might not have said it but i was thinking it so my ideas were a lot less complex I, like this is ea sports we're talking about this is a company that continues to drop the ball when it comes to football when it comes to other sports games the only sports game they can seem to get right is is uh fifa you know what I'm saying? UFC looks pretty good too, but for the most part, FIFA is the only sports game that they can continue to get right. And even the diehard FIFA fans be like that this game is sometimes they be like this game is doo doo. But um, why I have low expectations for Madden is because this is the same company that on on the 360 and PlayStation 3, Madden 06, 07, 08, and 09, we didn't have refs on the field. Didn't have refs. Last time I checked, refs are a very very important aspect of the game of football and sports in general and we did not have refs on the field for four years it was the same company that in 06 07 08 09 on ncaa in madden couldn't decipher what a clear visor was from a dark visor the clear visor looked exactly like the dark visor right 
we are finally getting to a point where we can, you know, for us football heads, for us people that love playing football, and because, man, there's the only NFL game out there, yes, we suck it up and we give EA Sports $60 annually to play a football game. We finally have a game that we can say, you know, this game isn't bad. You, you should check it out, right? And because of Ultimate Team blowing up, a lot of more people are on Madden. So it's a blast. I'm having a great time with it. But Madden still isn't where it needs to be. So my what I wanted from Madden, very simple. <laughs> very simple. Number one, presentation. Stuff like this. When you do a connected franchise, have season stats in in-game footage. Meaning, if... I have the Detroit Lions, and Megan Trump is lighting it up this year. He has like over a thousand yards by week 13. You know, has he's on pace to have like 15 touchdowns. That needs to be highlighted. You know what I'm saying? Because in last year's Madden, Madden 13, it really just focused on the quarterback. Even this year's Madden, if you're doing a franchise or, or owner mode, you know that in game they show the quarterback season stats. That's all really good. But football's the ultimate team game. So if I'm playing with the Panthers or, or the Niners, and you know, I want to know how many tackles Patrick Willis has. I want to know how many tackles Navarro Bowman has for the season. I want to know how many tackles Luke Kuechly has for the season. So presentation to me is a big one because again, we can see what NBA 2K is doing as far as presentation. We can see what, M what uh, MLB The Show is doing as far as presentation. So NBA 2K, MLB The Show, right now they are setting the standards for presentation, right? Another thing that I was talking about was the crowd. This is next gen. There should no longer be twins wearing the same shirt, wearing that same doodle -doo brown shirt, doing the exact same thing as the person sitting next to him is doing, as far as standing up or sitting down or clapping or waving their hands or doing whatever. It should be different. It should be different. The crowd needs to improve vastly. Again, things that should be done for the next man. And things that shouldn't be that hard to do. Should not be that hard to do. I mean, MLB The Show, when I saw the, the trailer for it and like and they, they were panning the stadium and showing the crowd, I did not see a twin for a mile. I did not see the same avatar in the stadium for like a country mile. Like they were on the other side of the stadium. They had kids in the stadium. The ballparks were just on point exactly. Exactly. And again, <laughs> baseball is probably the least watched sport in this country, but on a consistent basis, it gets the highest rating for a sports video game every single year. Another thing, and this has been my pet peeve for a while, because, and I tell my friends this all the time, because they be like, hey, bro, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, imagine LeBron James without a headband. How many people would be pissed off if they put an NBA 2K, NBA Live, whichever one you feel like playing, and LeBron James didn't have his headband, how pissed off would you be? Yeah, thought so. So, to me, not having mouthpieces in the game is like, come on, man. Really? Marshawn Lynch, he rocks them. My man Frank Gore, he be rocking them. Reggie Wayne rocked them. You know what I mean? That big pacifier mouthpiece, Eddie George rocked it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Eddie George playing for the Titans. Mar I mean, um, Marshall Falk, he rocked it too. That big pacifier mouthpiece. They need to get that in there. See, what I want from EA Sports and what I want from Madden is very small. It's not complex at all. Because again, it's the same company that couldn't get a visor right. It's the same company that could not have reps on. Like, they just like didn't put them there. Like, oops, forgot it, not doing it the same company that can't get double team blocking right so what i want from madden is very small and i will be satisfied with it now those things that they were talking about absolutely i want those things in madden too madden needs to compete with nba 2k needs to compete with mlb the show as far as getting the ratings as far as people playing the game year round it needs to be up there because it's sad that it's not because madden used to be the most played game year round out of any genre and now yeah, y'all know how it is. So anyways, I'm going to get about here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.